This one trick is really going to help your phishing campaigns because one of the issues that you might come across is trying to get a really good domain name. And you might want it to look like the scenario that you're doing such as HR benefits or management survey or you might want to look like the company that you're targeting. And sometimes there's just not any good available domain names. So K. Gretzky introduced this into his Evil Gen X 2 in, in version uh, 2.4. And what I'm talking about is the custom host names for phishing links. But first, before we get into it, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be creating a couple more videos for this Evil Gen X 2 series. And having more subscribers helps me to make more videos. So make sure to like and subscribe. And so let's get into it. So looking at the documentation, which I'll link down below, it talks about instead of being forced to use a phishing host name of such and such, you can change it to whatever you like. Now this is talking about changing the subdomains. So if you look at the main top level domain of phishing.com, you can see that before it had to be set to something such as www.linkedin and then your domain. Well now you can change it to whatever you like and you can add as many as you need. So the trick here is changing these first few ones to be exactly what you want it to be, whether it be the scenario such as HR benefit or the company name or both, such as HR benefit dot company name dot com and then the phishing domain name, it'll have a higher chance of tricking the user because now that they hover over the link and they look at the beginning of the text, they'll see that it looks just like it's supposed to look. So the way to modify this is using the lures command inside Evil Gen X and then editing each lure, passing the hostname variable and then the hostname that you would like it to be created to. And once you're done with that, whenever you do the get URL command and you call that lore, it'll show you the the phishing link that you'll be able to send to the user and you'll be able to see that it looks just however you want it to look. So let's connect to one of our instances. So I'm connected to one of my EC2 instances in AWS. And if you don't know how to set up your Evil Gen X2, then I have a video on my channel that um, I'll link to below. So we start up Evil Gen X2. Again, I already have this all set up. So let me enable my fishlet. It's now enabled. So we'll be using the lures command. And one thing about the commands is if you do help followed by the command you're trying to do, it'll give you a really cool help list. And the one that we're going to be doing is right here. So sets custom phishing host name for a lore with a given ID and it's lures edit. You provide the ID host name and then you provide the host name that you like. So I right know I don't have any. We'll create one for Outlook. So if I look at the lore that it's creating right now, you can see that it's the default outlook.com, uh, my domain name, and then whatever path. So let's let's edit this a bit. So for the scenario, let's just say that it's gonna be something related to HR benefits, and the company that I'm targeting is just called company. So we'll do lures, edit zero, because that's the ID that I'm gonna be editing. We're gonna do host name. We'll do HR benefits. We'll just say that's what the domain or the subdomain of the of the target is, company.com, and then provide it the uh, our phishing domain. So now, if they hover over it, they'll see the HR benefits, which I misspelled. And like I mentioned, you could put as many subdomains as you like. So let's just say we'll put the username. Fill a root, uh, just add a little more text to kind of push back this um, phishing site domain to the to the end. Now, um, I will mention this here just in case uh, you see this error. So if you just try to kick it off right away, um, it tries to get the SSL certs and it uses Let's Encrypt. So at the moment, there's not any SSL certs, so it tries to get them. So if you try to just run this just as is, you'll get this following error. And if you look at the error, which you should always read the error, it talks about a DNS issue. Now, the issue is that I don't have a record that's pointing from uh, this fake name that I'm creating uh, to my IP address. So that's why we're gonna go into 
our uh, DNS records and make that entry and then come back and then run that command. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm using AWS, so I went to Route 53, which is where my DNS records are. Go to create a record, it's gonna be an A record. I'm gonna put my uh, public IP address, make sure it's not the private one, and then it says public IP address. And I'm gonna place that uh, domain name that I was trying to create right here and click create records. Now this is a DNS entry, so it might take a little while, such as a few minutes. But on the bottom, you can see right here, if I go to edit, uh, you, you can see the record that it got created um, and it's pointing to my public IP address. And so now I can go back into EvoGenX terminal and I can run that same command and whenever it's going to request those SSL certs, it will find my record and it should be able to get an SSL uh, cert from uh, uh, Let's Encrypt. All right, so now let's go back. Let's uh, run the same command. You can press the up arrow. It's going to request those SSL certs again you can see now that it successfully uh, set up those certs and now I can start using it so if I so now if I call it so this is going to be my phishing link again and so now if I click it and let me change the view on this so you can see what happens okay so now if I click it you see that it's opening up and uh, we get the new visitor arrived so the link worked to redirect it them and then, then the site's working just as normal. So if I just put in some test information, you'll see that it, it grabs it. Now this uh, blacklisting stuff that's being blocked, uh, that's something that um, was a previous setting that I had enabled. Um, I do have a video about it called blacklisting. So whenever you first create your SSL certs, uh, there are automatic scanners that are looking for newly created um, certs that are given out, and then it'll start scanning those uh, sites. Um, so what I did was I, uh, I enabled blacklist and that's with the command blacklist unauth and what that does is any unauthorized requests such as this one will automatically get put into a blacklist um, so whenever they try to uh, scan or or reach my site um, I'll receive the IP address is blocked and they won't be able to access my site Again, I have a whole video about that, um, and I'll put a link in the description as well. So that was a trick or feature that I wanted to show y'all. I thought it was really helpful because whenever you're creating these scenarios, you do want to have a sense of urgency. So the user might not go through the whole process of checking the whole, the whole domain name. So whenever they get that, that email, that gives them that urgency to see what's going on. And they say, oh, let me just hover over it. So they hover over it, they see the beginning, uh, all looks the way that it should then they might miss that at the very end it has your phishing site. And if your phishing site isn't really that suspicious, then they might not even notice that it's a bad site. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, there's, there's a good amount of videos that I, I want to create that has little tricks like this. Um, and just seeing the subscriber, the subscriber count go up motivates me to create some more. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.